aquí vamos a hablar un poco más de español porque mis facebookeros hablamos más aquí en español. Pero lo bueno es que Sarah, aunque muchos de ustedes saben o creen más bien que Sarah es latina, realmente Sarah es... ¿Where are you from, Sarah? Líbano. Ajá, es Líbano. Li ¿Líbano? Líbano. Wow, ¿huh? Libanés. Libanés, es libanés, por eso dije... Libanesa. libanesa, es libanesa Sarah, pero le encanta nuestra cultura este, latina, así que ella entiende el español y habla, la verdad que sí habla muy bien español. So anyways, you guys, vamos a estar haciendo aquí un live signing con ustedes, a la gente que esté ordenando el libro ahorita. We're going to sign this for you guys. Exactly. So, yeah, Sarah is my baby mama. Con my este baby bebé. Daddy. <laughs> ya tenemos un bebé chiquisqueto que, gracias a Dios, ya salió hace dos días. Um, y pues gracias a ustedes nos está yendo muy bien con las ventas thank you so much yo sé que no se van a arrepentir you guys are gonna love this book even if you're not on keto you guys I keep saying this because this is not a diet book I want you guys to understand that this is a cookbook because we both love to cook absolutely so it's part of our culture both of our cultures absolutely we, we learn to just like be in the kitchen and create and you know that's mm -hmm. where it's you know you discuss it in there where you talk about it's it's family time for you and yes that's what it's all about and especially with all these recipes like taking the traditional recipes and adding a chiquito twist to it you Sazón know latino exactly, exactly yes because that's how our grandparents our family members they show us love is through food and this is what you're going to see in this book you're going to feel like your homegirl is talking to you it's very very personal exactly. and again like i said even if you're not on keto these recipes are so delicious that you're just you're gonna love them to be honest so it's a 21 day uh cookbook okay so it comes with uh el desayuno la comida y la cena con snacks con este ejercicios este y música tenemos playlists mm -hmm. you guys we have a playlist so viene realmente completito este libro así que la verdad se lo recomendamos no, no nomás porque sea de nosotras pero we put our heart and soul in this you guys and booty and booty and <laughs> lots of have... booty show them what we have sarah this right here we always start with a little happy hour cocktail this is a keto cocktail it's a keto cocktail and what does it have in it this right here it has lemon juice fresh squeezed lemon juice tequila mm -hmm. lots of tequila stevia stevia and we use stevia because you yes. know a lot of these alcoholic beverages they have so much sugar in it and of course on keto we teach you not to have sugar um, and, you know, really monitor how much sugar you're having. So yes. we use our replacement. Stevia is our friend right in here. And mm -hmm. tajin for the rim. Yes, tajin. Porque nunca puede faltar el tajin, you guys. So exactly. we're going to do our first cheer, Salud. first drink together. Con ustedes. Salud. En los ojos. En los ojos. Yes. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You guys. It's good. It's sour. <laughs> I personally love sour. I do too. It has the perfect touch of sugar, but it's not too sugary because again, no one wants a hangover. It's not cute. No, exactly. So you don't feel guilty having a little alcoholic beverage no. at one o'clock in the afternoon because it's, it's happy it's keto. Hour. It's happy hour. There you go. I don't think that happy hour is like a five o'clock situation. I think a happy hour is when you have the alcohol in hand, you know? Exactly. And when you're happy. So, F it. We're happy. I'm We're really happy. happy. Cheers again. To our child. To our child. To our so children cute. here. You guys, um, if you guys have any questions, ask us. Si tienen preguntas, cualquier cosa que tengan, cualquier duda. Este, aquí estamos para contestar sus preguntas. Este, aquí está el bebé. Como ustedes saben, tenemos versión en español y también en inglés. Así que, es para... Mujeres y hombres, hombres también. Este, y aquí les voy a dejar, si están interesados en entrenamiento, Sarah is a great trainer. That's how we actually met. Then we became friends and then we became co-authors. So it's been a beautiful co journey. Co-parents. Co um, so I'll leave you guys her Instagram here so you guys can follow her. She does always post different workouts, at-home workouts where you don't need to use any equipment. Así que nomás uno usa su propio peso y ahí te va a hacer, esta mujer te va a hacer sudar. Así que si quieren, <laughs> síganla aquí en sus redes sociales um, y pues vamos a empezar you want to start Let's how are we going to do this should um, oh maybe you should sign a whole sheet and then we switch we switch off yeah ok perfect um, mientras nos, nosotras estamos firmando aquí Omi se va a encargar de leer las preguntas y nosotros vamos a contestar va and you guys can go ahead and ask anything Omi you know how I am I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, don't ask me this. It's only questions. Ask us whatever you want. We would love for it to be about keto, about the book, of course. Absolutely. But if you have other questions, feel free to ask. I mean, this is a conversation. 
This is your girls talking to you, just like what you're going to get from the book. You know, yes. that's like my, that's the feedback we've been getting so far about that. There are like some people who have already started reading the book. They were like, I feel like it's like my girls talking to me. And yes, it's that's so what motivational. It was, it was important to us to do that because we wanted it to feel like it's your home girl. We are your home girls talking to you, you know? Exactly. Here we go. The first sheet is signed. Now Sarah's going to sign it. Este, a la gente, ¿quién, ¿quién tiene un libro ya? Cuéntenme si ya tienen ustedes un libro, si ya les llegó su libro, si lo acaban de ordenar. Cuéntenme, por favor. Right, Omi, so ¿tenemos we... preguntitas? <laughs> la Omi acá anda, detrás de cámara. Okay. Y aquí veo una pregunta. Eh, sí, aquí está Omi. Omi está detrás de cámaras. Este, y sí, una persona me está preguntando si trabaja el hoyitos conmigo. Ya no trabaja el hoyitos Chris conmigo. Ya tenemos más de un mes que no, tra que no trabajamos juntos. Así que aclarando eso porque sé que me han estado preguntando, pero ya no trabaja conmigo. Nomás tenemos a la Omi, que es capaz de todo la Omi. Una chingona. 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 Any other questions, guys? It's I pre-ordered mine. Oh, thank you for pre-ordering it. A ver, dime, Omi. Es chico. Es chico. Is she keto goes. safe during pregnancy? Um, that is a question for your doctor, but personally, and before yeah. Sarah answers because she's better at this, but I even thought, like, if I were to get pregnant, would I do keto? Absolutely, freaking -lutely. I would. I definitely wouldn't. I probably would be super, super gnarly on it just because, you know, I, I don't know how. But anyways, go ahead and answer that. It's really important to talk to your doctor, though. Exactly. So one of the things, and we do just, we discuss that in the book, like before starting any sort of new eating regimen or even a workout, it's so important to discuss with your doctor. And the one thing about keto is it's just, it's so good for you because of the fact that we talk about eating real whole foods, limiting processed foods, eating a lot of greens, and that's what it's about. And... You know, a lot of the things that you see online about ketos, you see all these things like, oh, you just eat a whole bunch of bacon and cheese. and That's called yes, dirty keto. Exactly. So this is the cheat keto version where we teach you how to have some of those, you know, bad things or naughty things mm -hmm. on, you know, once once a week or so, but moderate exactly. amount. But that's what this is about. So again, at the end of the day, ask your doctor, but hey, who wants to eat, you know, great healthy foods with greens and lots of flavor? Mm -hmm. all the time especially the time. when you're pregnant yeah absolutely because you, you you know you're giving this nutrients to your to your child yeah. so i would i absolutely would but again like sarah said i i would definitely talk to your doctor um and yeah there's a difference a lot of people think that keto is gonna give you cholesterol the thing is you guys our bodies need the good fats and this is what we explain in the book what good fats are and what they do for your brain what they do for your body and how they these good fats help you burn more fat in your body, stored fat. So it's, 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 there's different types of, of ways of doing keto. You just have to kind of really understand it. So get the book, read it, and you guys will understand our way of doing keto. My favorite way. You look so pretty, Sarah. You too. Que bonita la Sara. Doesn't she look like a Barbie? Look at her workout Barbie. Thank you. You guys need to see her shoes. Oh, oh yeah. You guys can see her shoes right now. They're gonna have to go on Instagram. I'm gonna post a picture in a little while. Go like my picture. I'm gonna post a picture and you'll be able to see what shoes I'm wearing. You're gonna do an amazing shot of the... Will you take it? Absolutely. Okay, Sarah's gonna be the photographer. And a shot right here. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> yes, and a shot. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> they got a question for Sarah. How do you stick to workout routine? Oh, Janae, that's your question. And Sarah, what's the best workout for a lower belly fat? Who's asking which question is Right. That is April from Flor no, Floyd, no, no. Virginia. Um, the belly one, right? The, is for Sarah? You yeah, the belly's for you and the cheekies is how do you stick to working out? Okay, so the main thing is that's, that's a common question I get all the time. And, you know, online, especially with social media, you'll see people promoting do your 30-day ab challenge and do 100 crunches and it's going to fix your lower abs and whatever. And it's not about that. It's about what you're putting inside your body how well you're eating because you cannot, you cannot outwork a bad diet. And that is time and time again, that's something I experimented with my body and that's how I you. came across um, keto. And I, I told Cheekies, I was like, hey, I showed her my before guys. I showed her my before yes. and I was consistently working out and- She's, she's an athlete. She, yeah. she played tennis for many, many years. 
And this is what changed her body was keto. Sorry exactly. to interrupt you. Exactly. No, mm-hmm. girl, you never interrupt. You're, you are the, what is it called? What's that? The highlight of all of this. You know? No. Yes, you highlight me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so at work, um, stick to a great clean diet, especially like the stuff that we teach in, teach in here. That's what we did together. And that's when you're going to see the changes in your body. But if you want to ask me what's my favorite exercise for abs, it's a plank. Oh my gosh, I love planks. And, and I'm gonna tell you, like, like Sarah said, it's 75% of what you put in your body, you guys, that's gonna give you that definition in your abs. But the planks are an overall, like honestly, it helps your shoulders, it helps your core, it helps yeah. your legs. I love doing planks. I started, you guys, at literally not being able to do not even 30 seconds, and we built up to a minute and 15 seconds. You remember that? When we were working out together here in the court. You're being um, humble. You did a minute and 30 seconds. Oh, really? Yes, oh, my girl. God. You guys, for me, it was just like, I love, I freaking love doing planks. Yeah. Okay. Flavia from Indo, mm-hmm. California says, what do you do for a sweet tooth? What do I do for a sweet tooth? I, l- I love chocolate. Okay, mm. you guys. The good thing on keto is you can have berries. So what usually I do is I do chocolate covered strawberries and blueberries. Um, well, in dark chocolate mm-hmm. with cacao in it. Mm-hmm. And that gives me a little bit of energy and it gives me that like kick, especially around, you know, the PMS. time of the month, PMS. Um, it helps a lot. That's, that's what I do. And then also um, coconut cool whip that she introduced me to. Bomb. Like you put cacao powder yeah. in it, you put uh, almond butter in there with some berries, some coconut flakes. Um, it's so delicious. So that's what I do. Right? Same mm-hmm. thing. I, I do the same thing. I also like making like different bake baking styles and no bake styles of like cheesecake, keto cheesecake. It's so good. And you know, there's so much satisfaction that you get even without that traditional sugar. And mm-hmm. it's so easy. And especially in there, we have a snack section of to kill your you know satisfy your sweet tooth without breaking sugar rules you know so and there's a lot of things there's a lot of pages now that have like keto cookies you guys keto chips there's all kinds of like keto is just like the newest coolest fabulous thing absolutely so make sure you guys look up these hashtags keto snacks all that stuff you'll be able to see all that and we have a bunch of snacks um and desserts in the book so um so yeah you're the main snack though Ooh. Evelina Ruiz Escobar said, I drink a lot of water and eat a lot of veggies and keto has been constipated. Okay, go go, go ahead. Um, I'm going to tell you what. Mm-hmm. That could also mean that you are still, even though you're having veggies, you're not having fiber type of veggies. And it could come from that because a lot of the times, you know, as a trainer, I hear so many things like, oh, I eat healthy, I eat a lot of vegetables. And then when you really look at it, there's still not a lot you know, being Enough. into the mm-hmm. body, there's more that goes into it. So, yeah, I would also, track it. Also, you guys, something that's really important is you need to have your good fats. That's going to yeah. make everything else slide out of your body. Um, <laughs> seriously, like you have to see it. It lubricates your insides, which means these good fats come from MCT oil, which comes from coconut oil, you guys. But it really does lubricate you. I mean, your body's going through something. If, if keto is like, if keto's new, you are going to get, your body's changing. It's like, oh shoot, there's something, you're, you're taking out all these carbs and you have protein, but you have to add the veggies, you have to add the MCT oil in your coffee and your shakes, add the avocado. All these things are just going to let it slide and push it down. You feel me? Because girl, y'all can't lie, but everyone loves to poop. You love to poop? I love to poop. Sure, that makes me happy. It's like the highlight of my day. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Okay, they're asking. <laughs> so I feel you, girl. I I used to oh like God. have issues with my tummy. Okay, I was very constipated. So, anyways, okay. Nelly. Um, they're asking that what you guys are signing right now. Where can they get their signed? Where do they buy? So you're gonna click on the link here that we that we have here. Um, the link is to purchase the book. <clears throat> so whoever's purchasing the book right now, watching this live, will receive this that we're signing especially for you guys this is what we're doing this live signing is for you the people that are purchasing the book now right we have the link there on me yes perfect find the link griselda from donna texas says i keep falling off the wagon will i gain weight if i keep doing that i i'm really good during the day but at night i get a lot of anxiety and then my guilt takes over i cry oh i get you do you want to go ahead yeah so that's something that you will see right in the book that we talk about because 
it's so easy to fall off the wagon and what happens is when people fall off that wagon they just fall off and they don't ever come back on and we mm -hmm. teach you that we prepare you for that like hey by week two you're gonna want to fall off the wagon and this is what we advise you to do and it's all in the book we give you our motivational quotes like things that we talk about you know things where she's the you know discussed tips. with me and like we came up with the chingona tips to really prepare you because a lot of the cookbooks out there, you know, to introduce you to a new lifestyle, they don't teach you like, hey, you're gonna fail at some point, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel that failure, you know? And we wanted to make sure we we address that to make you feel like, hey, if it happens, it's okay, it does happen. Get back on it and this is what you do. Exactly, and that's happened to me, for instance, yesterday, I, I fell off the, the wagon a little bit. I, I, I got out of work, I was hungry, and. The girls, um, my stepdaughters are here, they wanted Chick-fil-A and I got a, a salad, but then I tried a few french fries. And you're not supposed to deprive yourself because once you deprive yourself, that makes you wanna do it even more. You have to give yourself that leeway yeah. to say I'm gonna indulge a little bit, but yeah. today I jump right back on it. I'm intermittent fasting right now. So uh, my first meal is supposed to be at 1.30. It's just, that's my thing, you know, like I'm not, you can't be too hard on yourself because then that's when you're like, oh, F this, yeah. you know? So and don't compare yourself to anyone else too either, to I their progress. On that note, when we talk about, you know, a lot of these, a lot of people you'll hear them say, oh, I cheated on my diet. Mm -hmm. And what do we talk about? That's, oh, a, that's a negative we don't use connotation. That word. Exactly. She taught me that. I was like, oh my God, I cheated, Sarah. She's like, no, no, no. That's a negative connotation. Negative con connotation. You indulge. And it's okay to indulge once in a while. Jump right back on it. Exactly. If you have a little bit of a heavier um, lunch, then you have a light Lighter. dinner. Mm -hmm. you know? And we teach you how to do that, how to balance it. Yes. Oh, no. This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next question is uh, Alejandra from Santa Maria. What's your favorite recipe? Ooh. Actually, my favorite recipe, I have so many. I love the chorizo, um, the chori the chorizo breakfast bowl. Um, and also, I love the chipotle enchilada casserole. Bomb. Super bomb. I love the ceviche. I'm a ceviche oh, yeah. girl. And that ceviche tostada is delicious, especially in the summer heat. Mm -hmm. So good. And the Paloma Blanca drink. And then, dice una too. muchacha, ¿qué que quieres que tu libro inspire? ¿Que mi libro That's inspire? A, yeah. a ver, yo quiero que mi libro, nuestro libro, inspire a que tú quieras ser una mejor versión de ti misma. Este, para mí, yo siempre he sufrido con mi peso desde los 14 años y he intentado muchísimas dietas, por eso ya no le digo esto de keto, chiquis keto, una dieta, es un estilo de vida, quiero vivir así de esta manera toda mi vida porque me ha ayudado con mi estómago, con, con mis problemas digestivos, así que yo nomás quiero que te inspire a ti, a que tú te sientas mejor, que tengas más energía, que tengas más claridad mental eh, y básicamente por eso me atreví a hacer un libro para poder inspirar a, a inspirarlos porque es realmente lo que me ha ayudado, me ha ayudado muchísimo este estilo de vida keto me ha cambiado la vida definitivamente y hasta Lorenzo que la verdad este él no es hombre o sea él no 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 se preocupa mucho de dietas ni de cosas así pero él siente la diferencia cuando comemos de forma keto y cuando no comes forma keto él se siente se siente pesado se siente más cansado así que hasta él ha visto y siente más que nada la diferencia así que espero que te inspire Yo también te mando, les mando muchos besos aquí la gente de Throwing Us Kisses. Okay. Um, another question mm. is Rosa, Rosa. She's saying, what can I do to stay motivated in meal preps? Need some motivation. Um, as far as that, what, as a trainer, like the one thing that I always heard my clients say is, oh, I don't have time to do this, I don't have time to do that, as far as like cooking the meal. So we came up with the uh, you know idea of saying, let's create a grocery list for you. Let's make it easy. Super easy. Put it together and you know, a lot of these cookbooks out there, which are amazing, there's so many great cookbooks out there, but what's missing is making it easy for the people to really follow along and that was our main mm -hmm. goal with this we wanted to make sure like every week here it is we did it for you we created this so yes. you know instead of you going in reading each recipe and being like hey what do i need we made it for you so all you have to do is take a screenshot and go to the grocery store 
or if you're not going to the grocery store, just order it online. Mm -hmm. And it's right there, and it's so easy to do because every week you have exactly a, a every grocery single list. week. We wanted it. We thought of making it the simplest, easiest way for you guys, so that you guys can succeed with mm -hmm. Chiki's Keto because she succeeded and she's consistently on the go, working, traveling, this and that, and. You know, when she's on the road, now she has her like Tupperwares of things mm -hmm. of like. But you have to food. prepare. Yeah. Exactly. What, what, what is the saying that you always say? Um, where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way, and, and, and a woman always has to be prepared. So if you Absolutely. know you're going to be outside of the house, make sure you take your healthy snacks, your yep. keto snacks, and that'll help you not eat anything that's not necessarily good for you. Exactly. You know? So it's always preparing. I'll never forget that time um, when we went to. I went to go watch her show in um, Anaheim. Mm -hmm. in Anaheim. And we were in, you know, we didn't finish till like 2 a.m. or so. Yeah. And everybody in the car was ordering in and out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let me see what, let me see what she's going to do. Because <laughs> everybody was having shakes and like french fries. And animal like style fries. Animal style fries, all of this. And what did you do? How did you order it? I ordered um, the... Uh, Double double lettuce wrapped grilled mm -hmm. onions. We got the cheese in there, so good, yep. and I felt delicious. And I put like you know those little the yellow peppers chili on the peppers. side, the chili peppers, riquísimos. Mm -hmm. Y pues, you know, it's just where there's a will, there is a way, exactly. and I definitely had the will. So I was and like, that's mm -hmm. what's so great because like we teach you how to do that. So like if, if all your friends, you know, that you guys are all going out and you don't know how to order, mm -hmm. we teach you how to order right there. And yes. Speaking from one of her favorites, she, you know, was able to do it, and you didn't miss the French fries, right? No, I didn't, honestly. No. Mm -mm. Double, double, girl. Double, double. All right, Ro um, Giovanna says, ¿Qué ¿Cuáles son tus tres favoritos recetas en el libro? Mis recetas favoritas en el libro, hay uno, pues a mí me encanta pues mucho la comida mexicana, que por eso para mí era muy importante, porque al principio cuando yo empecé Kiro, no encontraba muchas recetas mexicanas, ¿no? De keto, así que por eso hicimos este libro. Eh, me gusta mucho el uh, chorizo uh, breakfast bowl, que está riquísimo. Uh -huh. Ni la verdad está tan rico que no vas a extrañar ni las tortillas ni nada de eso. También me gustan mucho las enchiladas, así por eso hicimos las enchiladas, este, que es, viene en un casserole, que es de chipotle, porque a mí me gusta lo picante. Y también los pancakes. Los pancakes que tenemos ahí están riquísimos. Así que hay recetas para los niños, para los esposos. Es un libro que le va a gustar a toda la familia. Un, un libro de recetas que le va a gustar a toda la familia. Sa uh, what's name? Elizabeth is saying that she's drinking tomorrow. So what recipe can you give her? Alcohol? Alcohol? Yeah. Oh, yes. Go ahead. We have we have quite a few in there. Right but here. Right here. Um, this is one of my favorites. This one is not in the book, but we do share it. We have a we have an Instagram live group that we do together that we mm -hmm. share like um, all these tips. But my favorite favorite that I will say is the Paloma Blanca from in there. And the Paloma Blanca is with sparkling water that's grapefruit flavored. Mm -hmm. um, the squeezing of grapefruit right in there. And then you use like either a stevia, a monk fruit syrup, erythrol, one of those, and lots of tequila. And lots, lots, of, tequila. lots of tequila. Silver tequila, and that would tequila. be great. Yes, absolutely. And it's good, and it, it gets the job done, absolutely. and you don't have to feel guilty about it. <laughs> but if you want something lemony like this, we, I love this one we did something right here. This is a keto friendly lemon drop. Lemon drop. But then you can also compare it to a keto margarita. So this Ambien. is mm -hmm. lemon juice, tequila, we use stevia, and then tahin for the rim, and then a cute little lime for the. Está tan rico, la verdad. It's so good. For it to look cute. Mm hmm. You gotta lick the rim, you know? Alma Nunez, chiquis, ¿cómo puedo obtener tu libro? Autografiado, pero en español. Gracias. Definitivamente sí tenemos la versión en español. Este, que dice ahí en la portada, la dieta, que no realmente es una dieta, sino un estilo de vida. Para la gente como yo, que son amantes de las tortillas, de los tacos y del tequila. Así que, ¿cómo puedo recibir tú, tú? Tu versión en español es comprando aquí, usando este link que le estamos dejando aquí, ordenen ahorita su libro y por eso vamos a estar, estamos firmando estos para mandarles con su libro la gente que ordene el día de hoy, este, aquí Sierra y yo van a poder recibir este, lo que estamos firmando. People are asking a lot of questions, um, if they already pre-ordered their book and they already got it, what can they do to get it signed? 
Um, Order this one again and gift that one. <laughs> Ooh, look, good idea. <laughs> yeah, we, we're gonna figure it out or follow our Cheeky Keto um, page on Instagram, right? Yeah. And we're gonna be doing a lot of giveaways. So if you have your book, um, and you enter into one of the giveaways that we're doing, go ahead and follow us on Cheeky's Keto um, Instagram. on Instagram. And we're gonna be doing a lot of different um, giveaways and stuff. So you might just get a second book signed. Anything else on me, Dalia? That was one of the main questions. There was like so many. Of them. There were so many? Okay. <laughs> you guys, honestly, I'm really happy. Um, I want to show the book. Yeah, show it. Show I it. Feel like we should show it. How beautiful does she look? Oh, a little thanks. life size Barbie. <laughs> this is the chorizo bowl. She's. Oh, I about. love that chorizo bowl. Look at that. Look at that extra cheesy. <laughs> That's the only thing cheesy in our book. Yeah. Nothing else is cheesy. Everything is delicioso. Exactly. Um, where is it? Look at those are the recipes. Look how beautiful. We wanted to make sure that this didn't look like your basic cookbook like look at the colors we chose these colors vibrant exactly we wanted to make it fun mm -hmm. make it something like you know most of these type of books that you see it's just it looks like you know yeah. a chore it's and relatable it's exactly. fun it's an easy read which yeah. was super important to both of us read we them have that chingona tip this chingona tip we have a bunch of chingona tips throughout the book but this one says never go to the grocery store hungry you'll end up in the pandemic in the panaderia. Pa hey, there you go. Panaderia. <laughs> Section loading up your cart with pastries and pan dulce. So make sure you, you prepare. This is what we're talking about. Pre-preparing. Yep. That mm -hmm. was one of the things that like, I, you know, when I talked to her about it, she was like, oh, I went to the grocery store. I bought everything. What do I do? And I was like, oh, it's a trick that I learned. Do not ever go to the grocery store hungry. It's mm -hmm. like when you're watching TV and you're you're hungry and then this like crazy commercial comes on and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I want that. You end up, yeah, eating you what end you up buying it. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Tips like that. All right. Um, I'm hold. tired of, I saw this, so I, go back. I'm tired of turkey, bacon, or, oh, anyways, I, it went away. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, Jose from New Jersey says, can you... Can you tell us about your experience with keto flu? I didn't get any symptoms, but did lose 80 pounds in six months. Wow. Congratulations, first of all. Um, my experience with the keto flu, which we also talk about in the book, yeah. um, I just got a lot of headaches, and I felt a tiny bit tired in the beginning, but because my my, my body was going through withdrawals. Yeah. You know? Um, but sugar then, withdrawals. Sugar withdrawals. So then I discovered electrolytes. I discovered keto electrolytes and that helped me uh, quite a bit. But other than that, it was just, it lasted two days, three days max. And then I just, I felt so much better. I got to the point where when I wasn't doing keto, I started feeling really bad and bloated and nasty. So that's why I was like, this is, this is the way to go is keto. I'm a keto, I'm just- Keto queen. Keto queen. You know but what I mean? K-W-E-E-N. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Maria from North Carolina says, what was the best part of making Cheeky's Keto together? Um, well, everything, to be honest. I'm not even trying to sound corny, but um, <laughs> it really did bring us together closer. We spent a lot of time together. We were on the same page. Every recipe, we literally sat here at my dining table for hours, for days, making sure that we put the best recipes in this book, which actually we left so many out that I think we're going to have to bring out a second book which we've talked about yeah. <laughs> um and i'm not gonna say what kind because we don't want anyone stealing our idea but we do have it in the works already um so it was just honestly it was just a beautiful experience to just get to know sarah on a, on a different level although we were already friends it was just it was just nice just to know that we're on the same frequency and that uh, she's the one that introduced me to keto actually so um yeah that's my personal experience it's been beautiful and she's she's like the best like partner and, and and honestly like honestly she's been so that. amazing she's so meticulous and so like such a perfectionist the pain in the ass i love it i love it i just i want to talk about my experience with mm -hmm. it because honestly i've been in this industry just you know working with different people and always having you know things that i want to do and never having that opportunity and you know a lot of people in her position where she's super successful superstar and you know to give me that to platform to share that platform with me i think it just says so much about her like the humility that she has and i'm honestly beyond grateful because i never 
I never imagined this. I've been like grinding for 10 years and then she comes along and she's like, let's do it. Let's do it together. And just being on that same page, I think, you I don't think she gets same. the credit that she deserves, especially with the media, because she's that down to earth, humble superstar. And you know, it's just freaking oh, grateful. Like I probably can't cuss on here, but I will. <laughs> 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 because I'm really effing grateful, but you know, oh, it's amazing. And I think, you know, she's just an inspiration and to see it come into fruition, it's just like a, it's a blessing. And who oh, I got the hottest baby mama, even though she says she's a baby dad, <laughs> she's, a, she's a baby mama. Oh, Sarah, thank you. No, you deserve it. You, you are so hardworking and yeah. So it's, it's been a beautiful journey, you guys. And thank you for that person that asked that question. Love that question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Preguntan, ¿Qué podemos reemplazar la tortilla? por en tu libro. Ay, qué buena este pregunta y tenemos una sección aquí en el en el libro donde tenemos cosas, pues porque hay muchas cosas que a mí me encanta, siendo mexicana, una mujer mexicana que le gustan los frijoles, las tortillas. Ahí tenemos una sección donde te dice qué puedes reemplazar. Este, hay tortillas de coliflor. Um, así que tenemos la receta para hacer tortillas uh -huh. estilo keto eh, en el libro. Um, también frijoles, qué es lo que pueden reemplazar para los frijoles, uh, para que no extrañen esas cosas, pues que estamos acostumbrados desde chiquitos a comer. Y, y pues uno y se, sienta, y se siente bien y se siente lleno y, y no ya llega un, un punto donde ya no ex, extrañas esas cosas. O lo puedes comer, no sé, en un domingo y, y haces keto de lunes a sábado y el domingo dices, ¿sabes qué? Hoy voy a disfrutar de un platillo con arroz y con frijoles y, y ya, o sea, eh, mañana el lunes empiezo con keto otra vez, así que es todo un balance, Exacto. pero sí tenemos una sección ahí que te, que te dice exactamente qué, cómo y, y, y cómo hacer, y co, qué es lo que puedes hacer para reemplazar ciertas comidas que nos gustan. And what's so great is like with with everything that you know she just said, and you're probably gonna have to translate to me because I need more tequila to speak a little bit more Spanish, get more I comfortable. I think what's just so amazing about this is that our cultures are so similar on Middle Eastern and you know, we always on the table have 50 different appetizers and like always our version of rice, beans, tortilla, which Tortes is, you know, pita, exactly, pita bread, mm -hmm. arroz, um, hummus, sí. you know, so. Que son I muchos think, cabidratos exactly. en, una, en, un pla, en un platillo. Exactly, mm -hmm. and I think we're both so cultured, but yeah. we were raised in California that, you know, we relate to a lot of people who are, you know, born outside, but, you know, live out here in the United States that we kind of like added that twist. I yes. think it's that Spanglish twist we added, you know, mm -hmm. for a lot of the people who relate, like, you know, different who are ways. like us. Yeah. Exactly. That are, you know, I'm, I'm Mexican American. Mexican American. Okay, I'm very proud of it. O sea, I always say, soy 100% Mexicana, 100% Americana. Así me siento. Amo mi país, amo mi cultura. Mm -hmm pero yo nací aquí en los Estados Unidos y pues obviamente por eso en este libro van a encontrar este, hamburguesas, uh -huh. van a encontrar pancakes, van a encontrar eh, pollo frito, uh -huh. porque son las cosas pues que aquí en los Estados Unidos se conocen y se comen y pues obviamente los platillos mexicanos. Así que van a encontrar un poquito de todo en este libro. O oh, me haces un favor, aquí se está diciendo que la batería, no sé si le puedes hacer close porque no puedo ver bien. Te amo, Omi. Oh, Muchas gracias, baby. Okay. They're asking. Oh, salud. This is a good one. What can you replace hot Cheetos for? Mamacita. I know something. God. What are you going to say? I was going to say, you girl, you're my hot Cheeto. <laughs> Tenemos. Let me show you the picture. I'm going to show you the picture of this. You're not going to miss hot Cheetos after you make these. Mm -mm. Let me tell you. It has everything and if not more. Because I love hot Cheetos, okay? I'll, mm -hmm. have, I'll have myself a handful. If I, if I feel like it, I just won't have the entire bag the way I used to. But if I want hot Cheetos one day, I'll grab a little handful, I'll eat them, take away, drink a lot of water, and go back on keto. But I have something better for you. Where are the, 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 the locos? Do we have the picture here? Is that pepinos on? locos. Oh, yeah, right los there. pepinos locos. I just saw it. Vean oh los pepinos God. locos. Picante. There's a little bit of a crunch, you guys. You're not gonna, you're not gonna miss it. Mm -mm. And look at this dessert that I have in my hand. Because you can have berries and that's like whipped cream like heavy heavy whipping cream right exactly but if you want hot cheetos feast your eyes on these the the, the recipes on there girl exactly you'll be fine trust we thought about literally everything it took two years dos años uh -huh. para completar 
para, to complete this book. So we literally thought about everything. I'm telling you, you guys, we had to eliminate, because it's 21 days, eliminate yeah. so many recipes that for sure we're going to have to come out with a second book. I mean, most definitely. It's just, on, on top of that, it's just so, so crazy because when we were doing this, keto wasn't really this like popular thing mm -hmm. happening and so like I had to like be like this is what keto is and then I was like this is how you can have your you know your your favorite stuff this way and then she got the hang of it and she was like hey let's do some Mexican dishes like hey I can do this and I can do that and she mm -hmm. you know throughout this we created all these recipes from yeah. her you know stuff that she had learned um as a kid of like how to eat you know yeah. the traditional Mexican way and then we keto fight it, she keto fight it, and made sure that it was going to be in the book. You know, absolutely. And see, even till this day, there's times when I'm like, you know what? I want un asado, which is really, really um, prop popular in Venezuela. And I was thinking about it. I said, how can I make an asado keto? Yeah. And I thought about it. I'm like, you know, now that I know about keto, I'm like, I can literally make any food that I'm really craving and make it keto style. It's just really yep. wanting to make it. Yep. And this is why, because we are in a pandemic, because we are in quarantine, ahorita es el momento de cocinar en casa, es lo más seguro que podemos hacer para, para nuestro cuerpo, es invertir en un libro de recetas para que coman en casa. Así que lo hicimos en una forma fácil, en una forma fácil de leer, de entender, um, para que estén, estén no nomás sean, estén salud, saludables, por dentro, sino que se cuiden de lo que estamos pasando de, con esta pandemia. Así que, I, I went everywhere with that comment right now. This is a brr, but you guys no, understand. No, I, I think you did, like, you just nailed an amazing point because we teach you skills in this book. So, mm -hmm. because una chingona, she is always on the go. And this is that person right there. Like, I, when, when she was on tour and stuff, I would train her as soon as she would like come in on a late flight and I would be there at like 7 a.m. And she was like, okay, I'm leaving to Bakersfield now or wherever. And she would have all her stuff prepared or she would be like, hey, I'm going to this restaurant. I'm going to order this. Is this cool? Mm -hmm. So even if you can't always prepare, we teach you in there. So if you're out at a restaurant, you're with your friends and your family, how to eat while mm -hmm. you're there, you know? What so. to order. Exactly. We can literally find it. At, this is why I loved keto so much because I can literally go to Taco Bell and eat keto. I can go to anywhere. Um, do I recommend you eating fast food no. a lot? No, I don't. But since I'm on the go and I would get off of stage at two o'clock in the morning, yeah, I, that's I, that's open. I was hungry. So Taco Bell was open and I would have my keto style meal while my friends were having their hard tacos and my, my, you know, my team, but I was still eating keto. So this is why it worked out so well for me because I could still have cheese. I could still have sour cream. Obviously you got to portion yourself and everything, but I could still have those things and it didn't make me feel like I was missing out on anything and I felt full. This is what I love about it. And I feel full for a long time with keto. Mm -hmm. And this is why I do intermittent fasting, which you guys should look up and see if it works out for you guys. Um, that's not something that I can necessarily recommend. It works for me, but look into it because with intermittent fasting um, and with keto combined, you feel full for a long time so you don't eat as much. So it gives you a lot of physical energy, you guys. Like it's, it's amazing. This is why I love keto because I feel full for a long time. Why? Because I have a lot of avocado. I have a lot of good fats and that helps you stay full. So, yeah. For, there's a lot of people entering, um, entering the live saying, what are you signing? For the people that are barely coming in, we are signing right here. Sarah and I are both signing these. They have our signature, which are going to be worth millions of dollars soon. Okay, you guys? So make sure you keep it. So, <laughs> so what we're doing, okay, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es estamos firmando para la gente que está ordenando el libro en este momento a través de este live que estamos haciendo, les vamos a mandar en su libro que ustedes estén ordenando este papelito que tiene la firma de Sarah y de su servidora, este, pero es para la gente que esté ordenando el, el, el libro en este momento. Así que díganle a la abuelita, a la tía, a la hermana, a la sobrina, a toda la gente, también a los hombres que ellos pueden hacer keto, uh -huh. este, a todos que ordenen su libro y van a ustedes recibir bueno. el libro firmado. ¿Dónde pueden ordenar? Eh, pueden ordenar, you guys can order en, en el link en un link que estamos dejando aquí, lo presionan y ahí ordenan rapidito. Es una muy buena inversión para ustedes. Si no quieren ustedes hacer la dieta o el estilo de vida keto, las recetas en este libro, no nomás porque sea de nosotras, están 
riquísimas estas recetas, riquísimas, uh, y no nomás eso, saludables. Así que eh, aquí, ordenenlo aquí en este link que les estamos dejando aquí. Uh. Ah, este me encanta. ¿Huh? Ah, la gente me está preguntando si, si if I'm COVID free. Sí, mi amor. Ya me hice tres, tres pruebas. I've gotten three, um, three tests. Three tests, tres pruebas de COVID negativas. Tengo anticuerpos, gracias a Dios. Así que yo estoy protegida y también Sarah. Así que ella ya se había hecho la, la prueba, está negativa. Yo también, obviamente, es muy importante esto. Que si estoy aquí tan cerquita de Sarah es la verdad es porque ella está negativa yo ya tengo anticuerpos obviamente nos tenemos que cuidar aquí tenemos nuestro hand sanitizer el gel um, así que estamos tomando las precauciones necesarias y pues también el tequila dicen 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 no estoy diciendo yo pero dicen que mata el virus así que salud <risa> Malani Vargas said, I've tried about, I've tried reading about keto, but I always find it so hard and so much to learn about counting macros. Oh, I Ooh, love that talk question. This, this so is all much. Sarah. She loves it. I love that question so much. So as a trainer, um, the thing is, I would always say, you know, throw away that scale and stop counting um, because it's, you know, at the end of the day, we teach you how to make this a lifestyle and it's. You know, if people count and, you know, they follow a very strict way of doing keto, that's amazing. That I salute you. I, I, you know, all of that. I think it's amazing. But based on the clients that I've worked with, it just hasn't worked for them. And we teach you like, hey, these are the basics. This is how much protein you have. And I literally go over it by showing you guys with like a hand. A hand, mm -hmm. like handfuls of everything. And we teach you that. And that's just so important because I've seen people who go super, super, super strict on it. And they're like counting everything. They'll be at lunch and they're like, hold on, I got to track this. And that's not realistic. I'm so it sorry. It just doesn't. For, for me, it's not realistic. Yeah. And what worked for her is what we're working in this book and what has worked for a lot of my clients and for myself. Mm -hmm. It's just, I've never been the type, I don't go on a scale. I don't know how much I weigh. Only time I know is when I'm at the doctor's the doctor. office mm -hmm. and they're like, you got to step on the scale. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I don't like to weigh That's myself. it. it yeah. Just... Honestly, I, I personally, I, I would get disappointed every yeah. single time I got on the scale because I was like, I'm working so hard yeah. and I'm working out. And why yeah. am I gaining weight? It's because muscle weighs more than fat, you guys. So every, literally every body is different. Everyone is different. That's why you can't compare your progress to someone else's, which is why I don't weigh myself because there's some people that lose a lot more weight than yeah. I do, but I have a lot of muscle mass. So that's why I just don't weigh myself. I don't count numbers. I don't worry about numbers because if I do, it's going to drive me crazy because there have been people that have been doing keto for two weeks and they're still not in ketosis. And then what does that do? You pee on the stick and then you're like, I'm not in ketosis and you get discouraged. You're like, man, F this. It. No, it's a lifestyle. This is long term. We're talking long term. Yeah. If you want something where it's like, I want to fit into this dress, then okay, do your thing, get on a diet, don't eat carbs. But once you start eating carbs again, then you're going to blow up. That's the thing. That's why it has to become a lifestyle, which is everything is balanced yeah. and you do keto. For me personally, I do keto hardcore monday through friday and then on saturday i'll indulge i'm not gonna lie but what does that mean the next day i'm gonna, be, I'm gonna work out even yeah. harder like it's just knowing and using your common sense in reality it's using your common sense that you're gonna know what can all i have and not have Go ahead, exactly sorry. and it's all in here and like going back to the question about like oh macros and stuff it's in here we had to like just to let you know what is the you know the basics of keto it's in here and we teach you the basics and then we teach you taking the basics and then cheekifying it and being able to make it a lifestyle you know because yes a lot of the times you you hop on going full throttle on keto and it makes it so hard to make it a long lasting lifestyle especially when you have like macros and ketosis in your head yes and, and logging everything it's yeah. just i've done all of that and it would just It would work and then I would get disappointed exactly. because it's just, that's why I was like, this is a lifestyle. I got to a point in my life, you guys, que llegué a una edad que dije, yo me quiero cuidar, me quiero sentir mejor. Obviamente me quiero ver mejor, pero más que nada me quiero sentir con energía, me quiero sentir bien cuando coma y quiero comer para darle lo que requiere a mi cuerpo. Obviamente quiero bajar de peso y he bajado muchísimo de peso de, 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 
De hecho, voy a subir unas fotos en el Instagram y también aquí en Facebook para que la gente vea la diferencia en fotos. Quiero que ustedes vean la, la diferencia porque mucha gente me pregunta, ¿cuánto has perdido? No sé. Yo nomás sé que mi cara se ve diferente. ¿eh? Yo nomás sé que aquí la cintura se me ha... Se me, ha, me, me, se me ve mi cintura más chiquita. Este, yo soy pompuda, tengo, soy piernuda. Eso pues, va a ser muy difícil quitármelo, pero sí siento en mis brazos la diferencia todo en, este, en esta parte de mi cuerpo y es por, es por keto, es por keto. Así que les voy a, les voy a mostrar unas fotos porque no haría o pusiera yo mi cara o mi nombre detrás, mi imagen detrás de algo si yo no creo en esto. Así que les realmente ustedes, la gente que me conoce, yo no voy a promocionar nada sin primero yo intentarlo, sin primero yo usarlo y porque no, no puedo, no, no puedo. O sea, he trabajado tanto nomás para decir a veces me están pagando y voy a promocionar esto. No. Chiquis no es así, la gente que me conoce lo sabe. Así que si yo puse mi corazón, mi energía, Sari y yo, es porque realmente las dos creemos en esto, en ese estilo de vida. Y pues tienen 21 días en este libro, con este libro de recetas, para ver si este estilo de vida es para ustedes. 21 días es lo único. ¿Van a bajar de peso? Por supuesto que sí. No les puedo decir exactamente cuánto, pero les puedo decir aquí está Omi, que lo hizo por 21 días y bajó 20 libras, ¿ok? En 21 días, ¿ok? Y de ahí tú puedes elegir después de 21 días con, basado en cómo te sientes, en cómo te ves, en la diferencia, si tú quieres seguir con ese estilo de vida o no. Y ahí tienes tu libro de cuando se te antoje una receta, tienes tu, tu libro de recetas. Pero, that's about it, right? Period. On period. If someone has diabetes, can they do keto? Best question would be to ask your doctor, but um, a lot of the times people with, it is suggested, Mm -hmm. for people with diabetes to do a keto style because of the low sugar. Um, but again, anything medical like that, straight to your doctor, best bet, and just to be safe and be 100% sure because we're not allowed to give any sort of medical advice because mm -hmm. we're not doctors. We're keto queens, but not doctors. But the best mm -hmm. thing is, um, you know, ask your doctor and try it out. Yes, ask your doctor, pregúntele a su doctor si ustedes tienen diabetes, si sí, el, el estilo de, 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 de vida keto, ajá, any, cualquier, cualquier este, enfermedad o cualquier cosa que ustedes tengan, o, eh, la verdad es mejor preguntarle siempre a su doctor si es un, un, la, el estilo de, o la dieta keto es bueno para ustedes, pero la verdad yo me imagino que para la gente que tiene diabetes es bueno, les voy a decir por qué, porque pues es muy bajo en azúcar la, el estilo de, de, de vida keto y también los carbohidratos, los carbohidratos the carbohydrates, se vuelven azúcar en el cuerpo, así que si no hay carbohydrates, eso te va a ayudar mucho, eso es lo que yo pienso, ¿verdad? pero igual no soy doctora, yo nada más estoy diciendo, así que ask your doctor guys Muchas está preguntando dónde pueden ordenar el libro ¿Dónde pueden ordenar el libro? Aquí tenemos un link aquí en este eh, live, ahí está, los estamos haciendo pin Pueden ordenar el libro aquí en este momento. Eh, la gente que esté ordenando el libro, viendo este live, van a recibir estos que estamos firmando, Sarah y yo, con su libro, Keto, y una firma de ambas. Someone is asking, how long have you been doing keto? I personally have been doing keto for over two years. Um, and I That's our anniversary. It. it is, huh? Yeah. Oh, Sarah. It's our anniversary. She always makes me blush. <laughs> always. <laughs> you should say, we should show the pictures from when you did the tea thing. Ah, okay, yes. Sorry. ¿Dónde? I'm going to show on your story packet. Okay, en las historias de Instagram. Sí, en mis historias de Instagram. De Instagram, de Instagram, les voy a estar enseñando este, o mostrando unas fotos de cuando hicimos, cuando hicimos el challenge con, con el equipo, cuánto perdieron en 21 días. Este, para que vean la diferencia, tomamos fotos este, y los medí y sí bajaron todos, todos de peso, todos diferentes porque cada cuerpo es diferente, pero sí perdieron peso en 21 días todos. Eran cuatro. Ulerma says hi, both you. Ulerma, hola, Ulerma se llama. Hola, Ulerma, besitos, amor, gracias por she's estar con our, nosotros. She's in our group. Yes, you guys. Ok, hablando she's de eso, está brother. nuestro... Huh? She's, she's one of your biggest fans. You're amazing. She loves you. Honestly, thank you so much. I, I appreciate you have been in our in both rounds, right? Or, Three rounds now. She's in the third Mexico. one now? From Mexico. De México. From Mexico. Oh, my God, mi amor. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Gracias por tu apoyo. Gracias por tu amor. Gracias por estar con nosotros en la tercera. Oh, me está diciendo, Sarah, que estás en la tercera ronda. 
de, de Chiquis and Sarah Live Group. Muchísimas gracias, que empieza de hecho el día 10 de agosto. ¿Qué es esto? Esto es como empezó la cuarentena, mucha gente no puede ir al gimnasio y todos estamos cocinando en casa. Este, así que empezamos Sarah y yo esto en, en Instagram, que es un Instagram privado donde ustedes pueden este, o van a recibir, donde reciben dos recetas a la semana y tres ejercicios. Así que de lunes a viernes somos live, so, live con, con ustedes. Este, you guys get recipes and workouts. And so it's a four week program. Son cuatro semanas y tienen, tienen ustedes acceso a toda esta información eh, por cuatro semanas, las 24 horas, siete días de la semana. Así que tienen hasta el día 10 para, para registrarse en, en esta tercera ronda que empieza el día 10 de agosto. Así que, that's another thing. Thank you so much, mi amor. Rosa González, mi mamá mm -hmm. tenía diabetes y se hizo keto y, y bajó 100 libras. Kilo 30. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Eh, felicidades, primeramente. Me da mucho gusto por tu mamá, este, por ti también. Y, y pues qué bueno que... que, que este, compartas este, este comentario, esto con nosotros, con nosotros para la gente que esté aquí, que tenga diabetes y que pues usted, les funcionó, le funcionó a tu mamá. Andy Gómez, does it tell you what to eat all day long or is it just recipes? And I love that question because we thought it over. We didn't want that basic, basic cookbook style. I wanted to input like the the trainer aspect mm. of it and that's what you know you get Chiki's trainer telling you like how to eat what to eat and we wanted to make sure like what worked for her was that she would ask me she was like hey what should I have for breakfast lunch dinner this and that and that's what we wanted to do and she was mm -hmm. like let's do this in the cookbook Absolutely. so we did it together where we said here let's let's make it easy for you because cookbooks you get it and yes they're amazing recipes but you feel like you feel lost. You're like, hey, what am I gonna eat for breakfast? What am I gonna have for lunch? So we did it for you. So I'm gonna show you a page real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's open up week one right here. Hold on. We gotta go in there. There we go, right here. So we teach you right here. Breakfast. O sea, todo, lunch, en todo pensamos. Dinner, snack. And we teach you how to do the timings and you know what would be great for you. And then we show Here's the shopping list. The shopping list is right here. Guys, don't look at my nails. We have, <laughs> I've had no access to nails. <laughs> so that's why it looks like this. But right here, it tells you, like, here's what you're having week one. Here, day eight, day mm -hmm. nine, day ten, right there. O sea, todo está completito, te está dejando saber. Eh, right, there it goes. Right there. Okay. O sea, el horario y qué es lo que vas a comer cada día los cada día de los 21 días, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Así que el horario, eh, que exactamente la receta, y tú vas y buscas en esa página la receta. Y la verdad, porque no queríamos que fuera difícil y que no te diera hambre, porque pues obviamente si te da hambre vas a querer comer cualquier gusguera, ¿verdad? Pero con esto lo hicimos de esa manera, hasta con música. Les digo, tenemos un playlist para que escuchen música mientras hagan los ejercicios que, que se puso en el libro y también mientras, que, mientras estén cocinando, así que... Exacto. And then de todo. on top of that, the shopping list, like we made it so easy for you guys. Like we tell you when you're in the dairy section, because you know how it's like dairy, produce, mm -hmm. meats, that, here's your dairy. This is what you're getting from the dairy section. So you don't have to go, when you go to the grocery store, you're in the dairy section, you get everything then. Mm -hmm. Then you move to the produce. You go to the produce section there. Then que you go to the produce section. Exactly. So therefore, you know, a lot of the times, you know, Janae, like you see, like, They write it out. I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I'm guilty of that. I'll write it out, and I'm like, why didn't I put all the vegetables in one exactly. section? Exactly. And follow along like that. But what it's I it's so much yeah, easier. So with this, we really thought it out. We were like, you know, let's make it easy for you guys, because you know nobody has time for like extraness. There's already so much going on. Let's make your life easier. So, so. you don't have to buy stuff that you don't need, and you're not gonna mm -hmm. use, and it goes bad. Exactly. With this, con esta lista que vas a llevar al mercado cada semana te va a decir exactamente lo que tienes que comprar y para que no compres de más y no compres de menos. Así Exacto. que en todo la verdad pensamos y por eso me encanta que dos cabezas nos juntamos y dos cabezas es mucho mejor que una. Absolutely. Así que... Save time. Mm -hmm. Mary says, what do you recommend for so those soda lovers? What do you recommend to them? You're my soda lover. I already know, I know. You're my soda lover, girl. Sarah is one, no le gusta... Eh, la, las sodas. Ella, eh, eh, honestly, she says, if you can avoid sodas 
or any type of you know drink like that she rather you avoid diet sodas and stuff like that but if you have a craving for sodas obviously diet is better or zevia zevia is much better i feel in my personal opinion but honestly water um i like iced tea uh, with some stevia and some lemon but if i already know sarah's more of like please don't drink that stuff it's just no. not good for your health it's just Look, I grew up as an athlete. I was a tennis player. I played competitively. And nobody taught me throughout my athletic career about nutrition. And I would be the one that I would be drinking sodas every single day. Oh, dang. Yeah, it would say natural. So I mm -hmm. thought, oh, it's healthy. It says natural on it. Right. What is natural? <laughs> and then I looked into soda and I saw how terrible it is for you. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to do that to myself. Mm -hmm. And I love my health and I want to you know value my body so I cut it cut throat once in a blue moon like very mm -hmm. you know after a few shots of tequila mm -hmm. I'll want a Dr. Pepper and I'll have a Dr. Pepper but that's it I'm done I'm yes. never again but if you can avoid it that better. would be great better and we teach you if in, in there we say like different alternatives if you don't love water because some people don't love water we teach mm -hmm. you different alternatives right in the book yeah exactly so if you like soda and you're used to drinking soda every single day i would say try to wing off of it obviously try to go into diet and if not yeah. i i would do or zero yes yeah, zero so the, the you know the zero coke or zero whatever uh, zevia is is a much better option to yeah. be honest but try to wing yourself off of it and try to drink a lot more water it's so much better for your health yeah. crystal Barca says i'm 17 and wanting to lose weight is there a certain age that you recommend to go all out on keto or can it be any age love you both Personally, I I would love for my children to to eat keto because I just I, I love how I feel and it's it's delicious and I mean I've given it to my nieces and nephew and they're completely they fine. Love they love it. So I don't think that there's a specific age, but again, I think you should speak to your doctor. Yeah. Um, you're 17 years old. You're almost hopefully 18. I don't know, but I, I I think for sure keto is safe for you. But again, I'm not a doctor. We're not doctors. So ask your doctor and see how you feel with it. And on top of that, this is not even a diet book or anything like that. It's a cookbook. It's about teaching you to be mindful, especially at a young mm -hmm. age. It's just so important. Like, I wish I knew about nutrition and health when oh, I was a kid because, um, you know, I, I was eating all sorts of crap. And I thought, because I'm working out and I'm an athlete, I, it's fine for your body. And it's not. And I wish, again, somebody taught me at a young age, especially being an athlete yes so the sooner you start i would say the better to be honest the more aware you are the better and so that you don't para que no sufran tanto es mejor empezar eh, lo más pronto posible no sé si hay otras este preguntitas i can't for, even read it my glasses mm -hmm. where are my glasses what about crystal lights what do you think about crystal light it's not your thing yeah she she doesn't and anything that's kind of artificial like that she's not a big fan of um i try to avoid that stuff as well um i honestly try to just down a lot of water and yeah. once in a while i'll have my zevia that you can get from whole foods and trader joe's and things like that but um i've heard that crystal light has an ingredient that causes like bad things bad things so i would be really careful um but again ask your doctor and we're no experts on that. Just yeah, we're not. This is just stuff that I've heard, that I've read, that I've researched. Um, so, one, yeah. The one thing about water and all of that, we teach you stay hydrated, never. Thirsty. Don't ever be thirsty. Stay hydrated all the time. <laughs> Someone said, if I order my book today, can I get it signed? Yes. If you order your book today, that's exactly From what we're link. doing. From the link. Yeah. The link is pinned right there. You guys, está ahí el link. Eh, si ustedes ordenan su libro hoy, en, a través de este live, right now through this live, you guys will receive this that Sarah and I are signing with your book. So, absolutely, yes. With lots of love, hugs, and kisses. I know you answered this already, but they said, I need help knowing what to eat through the day. Does this give you a day-to-day, -day, like breakfast, lunch, dinner? Yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Go ahead, Sarah. We'll pull it out. Well, we're going to do a pull-out method that actually works, which yes. is the book. Yes. Right here. Absolutely. <laughs> right here. <laughs> so right here we have a shopping list right here and it's going to teach you how to have you know your breakfast lunch and dinner how to time them and how it's the best way to have them 
And right here, you'll have it right here. It'll say what to have for breakfast, what to have for lunch, for dinner. And if you want a snack, we have a snack section. And if you're having a hard day or you're having a happy day and you want to celebrate with some alcohol, we have a happy hour section right in there. Absolutely. We have workouts. Exactly. And oh, we forgot about the workouts. Yes, oh, that's very important, you guys. They did. I'm telling you, este, este libro está completito. Tiene recetas. Tiene este, how do you say snacks in Spanish, Mr. Bull? Chiquis Rivera. Snacks. That's how you say it. I don't even know how to... En español, snacks. O sea, las entre comidas, ¿no? Cosas de picar. Cosas de picar. Así como botanitas. Aperativos. Aperativos. Tenemos una lista de aperativos. Tenemos ejercicios. Tenemos un playlist para que escuchen buena música durante... Estén haciendo ejercicios, entrenando. Este, tenemos fotitos para que vean aquí Sarah y su servidor aquí haciendo como... Pues mostrándoles a ustedes cómo se hacen esos ejercicios. Así que es un libro realmente completamente, este, pues para mí completo y pues hasta lista. Cuando ustedes vayan a, en la semana para comprar su, su, su mercado, hay una lista de exactamente lo que van a comprar ustedes. Así que no les va a faltar nada. nada. I think another point, like, because I had seen it on like the questions and like our, our pages. Uh -huh. um, and an amazing point is that we made sure that whatever level you're on, whether you're beginner, intermediate or advanced, this stuff works for you. Whether it's the shopping list, whether it's the workouts, it is beginner friendly. So if you're new and you're trying to like experiment what works for you, this is a great option to test it out. And that's why we did 21 days. Exactly, 21 days, because it takes 21 days to create or break a habit. So that's why I wanted to do, um, I told her, I was like, let's do, we thought about 30. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what, let's do 21, because mm -hmm. it's not overwhelming. And you can either break a habit or you can make a habit in 21 days. So that's why we decided to do 21 días, 21 days. Someone said, I love that the book comes in hood language. Yes, yes. because we are hood. Okay. <laughs> este, you know what? A la gente que no sepa, I was born and raised in Long Beach and Compton. So I can be a classy woman, but of course I can be hood. Yeah. So I want you guys to hear my voice, to hear our voice in this book. It's important to me that you feel like, It's your homegirl. You're talking to your homegirl. Exactly. So thank you so much for saying that because that was so important. super important. Yes. Super important. I don't want it to be all like these big, long, huge words <laughs> that you got to be like, what does this word mean? No, this is how we talk. I want you to, I want us to understand each other. 100. And that's mm -hmm. why that word chingona was so important. This is made for all of the chingonas out there. Yes. Those bosses, her boss bees out there because she wants you to hear your voice, you know, her voice, excuse me, her voice. It's like, you feel like we're the coaches right there, you know, mm -hmm. and then the story that she has in there, it's just everything beyond it. They're asking, what about ceviche? What, what about, about ceviche? It? What about it? We have a, a <laughs> recipe. I mean, I love ceviche. Sarah loves ceviche. We were, we cannot make a book, a recipe, a book of recipes without ceviche. So definitely van a encontrar una receta de ceviche, una tostada yeah. de ceviche para mm -hmm. que vean. Que ni, ni les va a hacer falta la tostada, la tortilla, el pan, porque van a poder buscar, este, o van a poder tener, tienen aquí en este libro, uh -huh. este, lo, eh, lo que van a replaz, reemplazar, reemplazar con, con este, pues las cosas que se les antoje, pues. ¿Tienen quiero estar el libro leyendo aquí. en español? Mucho. Sí, tenemos, la, tenemos, tenemos el libro en versión en español, por supuesto que sí, a, toda la, a todos mis facebookeros aquí. Este... Este libro eh, no es para gente de cierta edad, sino para todas las edades, para las mujeres, para los hombres. Eh, de nuevo, hay una versión en español, una versión en inglés. Este, tiene todo lo mismo, tiene los entrenamientos. Hay comida, la verdad, para toda la familia, no nomás para las mujeres, para los hombres, para los niños. Les va a gustar muchísimo. Tenemos un poquito de todo aquí. Comida mexicana, con sabor latino. Tenemos este, también comida americana, que todo nos gusta también. Huevos rancheros, tenemos oh, pancakes, yeah. eh, pollo frito, tenemos She uh, salmón. O sea, huevos wow. rancheros. Huevos rancheros, yes. You tell me about that. I was like, oh, oh, I love huevos rancheros, you guys. Yo puedo comer los huevos rancheros en la mañana para la comida, para la cena. Me encantan los huevos rancheros. They're asking in the Instagram life, is the Instagram life being free? How do I get it? The Instagram Live? The thing that worked out. The ah, okay. And, uh, mira. And price. Okay, so the price for the Instagram Live um, that, that uh, Sarah and I have, the group, our third round starts on August 10th, okay? Este es 
eh, el precio es $19.99, pero les voy a decir una cosa, lo que vamos a usted recibir en este grupo es que Sarah y yo somos sus coaches personales, así que ahí estamos nosotros contestando, contestando. somos nosotros estamos contestando todas las preguntas, cualquier duda que tengan. Es una comunidad privada. Eh, van a recibir recetas exclusivas, si no de libro, recetas que nosotras eh, hacemos en, en esos días. Cocinamos martes y jueves, ¿ok? Les damos una lista de lo que van a comprar ustedes en el mercado y también hacen, hacemos ejercicio tres veces a la semana, lo que es lunes, miércoles y viernes. Por cuatro semanas ustedes tienen acceso a este Instagram donde está toda esta información por cuatro semanas, las 24 horas del día, los siete días de la semana. Así que para mí lo que reciben es muy bueno y sí, hay un costo, pero... $4.99 a week. Ajá, $4.99 la semana. Así que yo siento que la verdad es un muy buen precio para todo lo que reciben y más que... Es una inversión en ti misma en, 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 eh, y para mí eso, eso es lo más importante, invertir en lo que realmente... Este, funciona y lo que realmente te va a ayudar a sentirte y verte mejor. So. Andy Gómez said, just ordered it. Thank you so much. Love you guys for making this. I need some motivation. Love you, Chiqui. Send me big hugs. Thank you for answering my question. Thank you so much for being so here sweet. and ordering. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're going to love it. You won't regret it. You won't. Someone said, can you guys talk about the keto flu? I'm scared to start it, especially with COVID going on. Okay, my love. So the keto flu, it all depends. You may or may not get it. It all depends. And it's not crazy. If you just get a little bit of a headache and you feel a little bit tired, but again, if you know, and if you're eating correctly and you're eating how we suggest here, there's no, there's no reason for you to get a keto flu, to be honest, right? It's because we have a preventative method, method, method. which is we have a little concoction of how to have your electrolytes and you can make a homemade electrolytes. We have it in there too. Um, but the thing is, it's with anything like, you know, it's that detox period and, you know, it won't last that long. It's like when you're going mm -hmm. through a breakup, you feel like, oh my gosh, this is hurting me so badly. Exactly. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. And then you realize one week, two week, three week later, you feel way better without it. And that's what it's like. It's like, we tell you in here, just like in here, we say you give that I F like that analogy. Right. Analogy. Yeah. yeah we're, nice. we're great with that. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, you have that in the beginning, you know, something, you know, some change, you always Withdrawals. feel that, mm -hmm. you feel that in the beginning. And then when you push through and you overcome it, you feel so much better. And I feel like this is that same feeling like, mm -hmm. you know, you really, you're, you're craving it in the beginning and it's always cause it's I mental what, to be honest. Yeah. Because it is mental. And a lot of people will say, Oh, you want something because you can't have it. And I don't understand that mentality because mm -hmm. if you, can't have it you shouldn't have it you know what I mean so if you're not having it that's better for you and knowing in your mind that you know this is only temporary everything is temporary happiness you know heartbreak anger it's everything temporary. is temporary so if you train yourself that you'll be ready to kick a keto flu in the ass Can absolutely I say of course okay. cool yeah say it Sorry, guys. Another great question. <laughs> <laughs> Kick it in the... Choose a nice one. <laughs> I'll mention again, but what's your favorite workout song? Ooh. Wait, oh, can I answer bunch. first? Yes, go. My favorite workout sound song for her, because when I'm training her, I'd love to see her twerk, because if I had money, I would just be like that. <laughs> Back that ass up. That Back that I ass up. When mm -hmm. I see her... Just, you know, she's just killing a workout with back that ass up. And I always know it's like, if she's feeling kind of tired, I'm like, she came off a long night from either Tengo Talento or concert. I put on back that ass up just to get her hyped and be like, okay, I'm going to make her do the hard workouts, but I got a yes. good music playlist on to, you know, so she doesn't feel it. So that's, exactly. That's me for you. I love What's back yours? that ass up and I love the booty song, Booty by J-Lo and Izzy. Big, big booty. Big. Yeah, it's, it's Izzy, right? Iggy. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. 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 Yeah, there you Doesn't go. The book have a playlist? It has a playlist. The book has playlist. a playlist because it's super important. Music, la música es una, una parte muy importante de mi vida. Así que yo, es mi terapia. Yo tengo que cocinar, tengo que hacer ejercicio con música y por eso aquí tenemos, un, tenemos playlists para que no se aburran. And what's so crazy is your recent album, Playlist. Playlist, exactly. That's exactly why, because it's so important in her life. And I will say just like a fun little cute story. 
Um, I remember traveling to Las Vegas to watch her perform. And mm -hmm. that was my first time seeing her perform. And she walked in to the club in Las Vegas to Snoop Dogg's da 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 da, -da. It's the mother effing LBC oh. <laughs> with like an entourage and like she's ready to like she's ready to like get that fight in so or it gets whatever. Me hyped. Yeah, hyped. And she walked in like a boss. And I was like da -da 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 -da. And I've always heard like all my Latina and Latino friends would always tell me chingona, chingona, chingona. And they would tell me what it is. And then I saw her and I was like, chingona. Oh, thanks, Bye, Sarah. Sarah. It's a true story. <laughs> it's true. She did go to my first show in Vegas. Um, not my first show, but she went to her first my show first of Cheekies. Show of Cheekies. Of Cheekies. A Cheeky show in Vegas. And she told me that. And then after that, it was crazy because we were on the same page. We are like, I kind of want to do a book. And it just all happened. She was already working on it. It was crazy. So it all worked out the way it should have. You're meant to be. Giovanna and Leslie from Barry say hi. Hi, my loves, my boss bees, jo Giovanna, Giovanna, right? Or Joanna? Giovanna. Giovanna, okay. So, Giovanna, oh sorry. Well, we have a Joanna and we have a Giovanna. But, Giovanna, hi, my love. Thank you guys so much for watching, for being here with us. The Bay Area is a hella hot over there, you know? <laughs> hella. <laughs> hella. <laughs> my Bay Area peeps, you know, y'all be saying hella a lot. You girl need a book tour, of course, with proper pandemic precautions. Oh, yo también no, te amo, mi amor. Este, I know. Book tour. I know. Honestly, you know, I'm very like, like I love like to hug and to give you guys hugs and kisses and everything. So believe me, this is very difficult, but we have to be safe. Tenemos que tomar las precauciones necesarias, la sana distancia. Así que a mí me encantaría poder firmar los libros. Eh, físicamente, personalmente, con ustedes es, eh, enfrente de mí, pero pues tenemos que eh, respetar la sana distancia y no nomás para, para mi protección, sino para ustedes. Obviamente nos tenemos que proteger el uno al otro. Así que pronto, con el favor de Dios, todo esto termine y podamos regresar a la normalidad, ¿no? Que la verdad no sabemos cuál vaya a ser después de todo esto, pero con mucho amor y cariño estamos firmando estos, 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 este, que son stickers, que los vamos a poner aquí en el libro que ustedes ordenen el día de hoy, con muchísimo amor, este, los estamos firmando, así que, hopefully soon, we can, can make it happen. A, a chiquito workout, twerkout, yeah. tour. Oh, that would be so awesome. That was part of the plan. That's what... And we're, we still have it in the works. Vamos a ver que, cómo se puede, cómo se puede, va a poder lograr eso después de todo esto. Is there a keto-friendly refresher at Starbucks you recommend? Or drinks in particular? Oh, yeah. There are a lot. So many. So many. You want to do um, your fave, that pink drink So my love? pink drink que me encanta. It's yeah, she's blowing. Look at her. She's so okay. excited. I love the drink. It's a venti. Okay, make sure you write this down, you guys. This is what I get from Starbucks. It has no caffeine. Um, so it's a venti passion fruit, unsweetened, unsweetened iced tea. So important. So no cane sugar. Make sure you say no king sugar, unsweetened, with a splash of heavy whipping cream, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, one packet of stevia, and a scoop of strawberries. Bomb diggity. No doubt. No doubt. So good. And then there's a, an horchata one that's kind of like, it kind of like tastes like horchata, but we, I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'll put that one up on my Instagram story so you guys can see. Sarah, you are a personal trainer and nutritionist. I know it can be pricey, but you have rates for everyday people. Email me. <laughs> email. email me. Email her. Yes. Oh, which reminds me, you guys have to go to bootyfitworkout.com. Bootyfitworkout.com to register for the third round of the Cheekies and Sarah Live Group Quarantine Edition. Um, if you guys want to be a part of this group, the third round, you guys, starting August 10th. Uh, the fact that she's replying to people and helping she's them out. She's so cute. Lou, that's our girl. Ay, mi Lou, te amo, mi amor. She's so that's sweet. Mi bebé, mi Lou. She's Quiero decirte funny. una cosa, mi amor. Siempre <laughs> te veo en mis lives y veo todo lo que estamos haciendo. Nos apoyas tanto. Apoyas la música, apoyas el libro. Eres un amor. Eres un amor, mi amor. Thank you. Los TikToks los veo. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, mi amor. La verdad, hands down. We gotta send her a special gift. Absolutely. Honestly, we need to send her something. Te tenemos que mandar algo. Te queremos. 
What's a good substitute for chamoy sauce or tahine if you can't find them at stores? There's actually low low sugar, low, low carb sugar. Chamoy. chamoy. So best best mm -hmm. what um, go to um, Amazon and just put in low carb or low sugar chamoy and you will find it. It'll yeah. be delivered to you right then and there. Yep. Shakes in your books. Yes, we yes, do. Yes, we do. And they're really delicious. Can yeah, I show her the picture. Show her the picture. This is my one of my favorite pictures of her. It was so fun because we were doing um through doing the shoot and we actually had to have everything cooked and you know prepared. So we didn't want anything to go to waste. So we were eating all the good stuff that was being made and right here. Aquimera. Right here. This is our pumpkin because you know, during we were, you know, we were creating this during pumpkin season, yeah. and this is delicious. It's with cal calabaza. 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 Yeah. Mira. Ooh. And um, it's a smoothie. And if you if you guys go to like Starbucks or Coffee Bean or whatever, and you guys get that like, you know, pumpkin spice frappuccino, that's what this tastes like, mm -hmm. minus the sugar and carbs. So good and it's so muy rico yeah. and it's filling. Honestly, Beyond. it's filling. And you could have it as a breakfast because some people don't Thank like like know. eggs and stuff for breakfast. And it's a great option. Or if you want like a kind of dessert feeling, but look how pretty she looks. Mira que de ella. And the ceviche right here. Pancakes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we were doing this photo shoot right here on the Stoya Key? There was an earthquake. Remember yes! that? There was an earthquake during that photo shoot. It was yes! crazy. Yes! I remember. We had rented a house, and I remember sitting, and I was doing precisely that picture when yes. I was like the little pumpkin smoothie, and everything started shaking. We're like, what the heck? We didn't know what to do. It was crazy. No. It was so crazy. I'll never forget. <laughs> I thought it was all the tequila I was having, but everybody <laughs> confirmed it was an earthquake. It was an earthquake. And you guys, another thing, follow our page. Siga nuestra página en Instagram, Chiquis Keto. Chiquis Keto, como lo ven aquí. Chiquis Keto. En, la, en, en nuestra página de Instagram, porque ahí siempre estamos subiendo recetas. We're always posting re, um, workouts, recipes, workouts, tips, so, tips um, every single day. So make sure you, you follow us on Instagram, Chiquis Keto, um, para que vean recetas y cualquier pregunta que, te, que tengan, ahí vamos a estar contestando. Pasta. Now there is different um, noodles. Noodles. There's there's low carb noodles, you guys. You can literally go on Amazon and low carb noodles, and um, and there's a bunch of them. So and even at Whole Foods, um, I, I find them miracle at Whole Foods noodles. all the time. Miracle noodle. Yes, miracle noodles, you guys. So that's a substitute. And also using a lot of cauliflower. We've made some bomb like pasta with cauliflower, like. To cheesy make, exactly. situation so bomb. zucchini we have zucchini. the zucchini boats in there and they taste so, so good. good they taste like a lasagna you're oh, not yes. even missing that actual like noodle you're having thing. your veggies guys so yeah, there's a lot of different good ways point with that yes it's so important a lot of people forget to have their veggies on keto you guys and yeah so important for your digestive system for your health especially now boosting your immune system así que es muy importante que se co que coman vegetales este para para ayudar con el sistema inmune. Mm -hmm. Maria says, can I get a shout out? Lots of love from Philly. Your Greek and Italian boss B. Oh, hi, Thanks. my love. Te mandamos muchos besos. Thank you so much for your support, for your love, Maria. Um, where's she from again? Uh, from she's fr she's, she's from Greek she's Greek and, and, Italian. and Italian. Oh my gosh, girl. Thank you so much. Te queremos mucho grande. Este <laughs> mucho grande. Mucho, mucho grande. Mucho grande. Oscar mucho grande. Bueno que también me llega mañana. Ya comí mis últimos tacos del pastor. Eso, <laughs> mi amor. Qué bueno que te llegue mañana el libro. Gracias por ordenarlo. Este, disfruta, disfrutaste de esos tacos. Qué bueno. Y ya que recibas el libro, vas a disfrutar de una comida riquísima y saludable de Chiquis Quiro. Así que muchísimas gracias por ordenarlo. Este, te lo agradezco mucho. Otras preguntitas que tengan, otras dudas, lo que tengan, aquí estamos para contestar, estamos aquí firmando eh, esto que va a ir en los libros que estén ordenando el día de hoy, Sarah y yo, así que aquí tenemos el link uh, para que ordenen ustedes su copia en, en versión en español o en inglés. 
Um, they're asking a lot about the Starbucks drink, so maybe I should post on the Chiquis Keto. Okay, so in the página de Chiquis we Keto, have we have it there. there. Yes, tenemos ahí en nuestra página de Chiquis Keto on Chiquis Keto, you guys, on Instagram, Chiquis Keto. Este, on Instagram, there's a lot of different drinks, you guys. Follow us there, you'll be able to see. We always post Starbucks drinks or the things that we, little keto hacks that we find, um, we always post there, so. She keto hacks. She can, keto, yes. Hacks. Crystal Ramirez says, can you find all the stuff you need in regular markets like Vallarta is super food or food for less, or does it have to be all whole food markets and Trader no. Joe's? Anywhere. 99 cents. The 99 cent store. <laughs> Uh, Whole Foods, Vons, Ralphs, Vallarta, wherever you shop, you will be able to find uh, whatever it is that you need from the book. Um, there's certain things like, for instance, that we just mentioned, chamoy, or like the Miracle Noodles and stuff Amazon. like that. Amazon. Exactly. And it'll get straight to your house the next day, and you guys. So. What's great is because when we first started this, uh, uh, you know, the only place you could really find these kinds of things was like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Yeah, and now, because mm -hmm. it's become such a big thing, keto has become a big thing. It is everywhere. I was at Vallarta the other it's day. Everywhere. And there was a little thing that said keto. And I, was I went like, to Target, too. They had it Tar everywhere. Target. Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Jinx. Jinx. Oh Jinx. 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 You all shot. Okay, fine. Oh. I guess I'll lose. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to lose. I can't. They want you guys to repeat about the third round again. And oh, okay. I thought about a shot. Repeat a drink. <laughs> Did they want us to repeat a drink too? Yep. Okay, yeah. con placer. Bye, que con placer. Okay, you guys. So, hablando de esto, Sarah y su servidora tenemos un, una comunidad privada este, en Instagram que se llama Chiquis and Sarah Live Group, okay? Pero para registrarte tienes que entrar al sitio bootyfitworkout.com. Empezamos la tercera ronda el día 10 de agosto, o sea, el lunes que viene, donde ustedes van a poder recibir tres ejercicios a la semana, que son lunes, miércoles y viernes, y dos recetas keto eh, que van a ser ella cocina live el martes o el jueves, y igual yo, las, las dos cocinamos. Este, y es, ustedes van a tener acceso a toda esta información, a los ejercicios y las recetas, las 24 horas del día, 7 días a la semana. Si ustedes no pueden hacer el ejercicio con nosotros a las 9 de la mañana, vamos a decir, se queda ahí en la página, ustedes lo hacen cuando tengan el momento, el tiempo, y también la receta para que cocinen a la hora que ustedes gusten. Así que van a tener acceso por 4 semanas a toda esta información. Este, y son $19.99 y para registrarse, to register, tienen que entrar al sitio de nuevo, bootyfitworkout.com. Empezamos el día 10. We should do. Yes. We should post it on Facebook and Instagram today. Yeah. For all those questions, just to make mm -hmm. it easier for you guys, we're going to set up the link and everything for you guys to register. Sí. And, you know, what would be so fun is that we were discussing is, you know, doing, you know, a couple of the recipes straight from the book so you guys can see how easy it is. We're going to do it in that group. For one of the cooking sessions yeah and her one of her favorites is that that chipotle uh ca casserole and i i love how she makes it every time she makes it and oh, i watch you. her her instagram and i'm like it's very good can you just save me some today yes i'll, I'll uber her some sometimes uber. she'll uber me food <laughs> yes because you know especially when i was not feeling well she would send me food and stuff like that and i just pick it up and like she it was just you know right there right there it's fine it's so awesome is your book english or spanish the book is both english and spanish so we have an spanish. english version it's spanglish yes so we have an english version and a spanish version you guys so yeah sorry <laughs> She snorted. She's so cute. I love her. Hey, your mom snorts a little bit too, huh? I love her. I love her. How do I start keto? I don't know where to start. My mom used to snort too. So cute. What happened? How do I start keto? I don't know when to start. That's a great where? question because in the first chapter, we we take you through a step by step, just telling you how to do it. We're literally your coaches in here, telling you Absolutely. what to do. So you are at ease, and this book will tell you right there. It is great for beginners, um, just trying to see what keto is about. Yes. Honestly, don't wait till Monday to start. Don't wait till the first of the month. Mm -hmm. Háganlo en cuanto puedan. O sea, no se sabe qué es lo que va a venir el día de mañana. 
Si ustedes quieren sentirse mejor, quieren bajar de peso, no se esperen hasta el lunes, no se esperen hasta el primero del mes, háganlo ya, es el momento, el momento es ya, así que todo van a poder ustedes recibir y conocer las preguntas, las dudas que tengan en este libro, porque realmente hablamos de todo, porque yo también tenía las mismas preguntas, las mismas dudas que ustedes, y por eso se me hizo tan importante poder explicarlo en este libro, así que ya, ahí está el link para que lo ordenen. <laughs> What is your favorite keto coffee from Starbucks? My favorite keto coffee. Um, you say yours and I'll say mine. I like a black, uh, 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 black iced coffee, okay, with a splash of heavy whipping cream. Um, two to three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and a stevia. And sometimes a little bit of whipped cream. That's just me. It's like kind of like my... My go-to. What about you? Um, I love, you know, I love a strong, strong black coffee, and with it, I do just a splash of heavy whipping cream, lots and lots of cinnamon powder, and then I just do one mm, pump of so good. actual vanilla because that's just how I am. And if it's summertime and I want something more than a vanilla tasting, I'll do the peppermint, and it tastes kind of like a so minty delish. thing. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. That's it's important to make sure it's sugar for you guys. And right? for me, it's important that it's really strong. Yes, very strong. <laughs> oh, we have this one. Oh, no. Oh, that one, yeah. Okay. They think you're a lefty, but let them know. Let them Who, me? You're lefty. The, you guys think I'm a lefty? No, no, no. I'm a righty. Because of the thing. Oh, because it's like, estamos así como... Al revés. Al revés, the, the camera. But no, I'm a righty. I always wanted to be a lefty. Me too, to be honest. Yeah. I, I honestly always wanted to be a lefty, but I'm, 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 yeah, it's just because of the camera, guys. Any more questions? Aquí estamos filmando. We have a few more minutes, you guys. Tenemos unos cuantos minutos. Si tienen preguntas, tienen dudas, por favor, pregunten de nuevo a la gente que esté conectada el día de, el día de hoy en este live, a través de este live, a la gente que está ordenando su libro van a poder recibir la firma de Sarah y de su servidora eh, con, con la orden de su libro. Aquí está eh, el link. El link está aquí, pinned, aquí en este live, para que ustedes ordenen eh, su libro. Versión en español o en inglés. Aquí seguimos Sarah y yo firmando. De hecho, no me duele la, la, la mano. Yo creo que es por el tequila. O sea, no siento ni madres. Tequila, yo feliz, yo, firme y oh. firme. Miren, les voy a enseñar todos los que hemos firmado, ¿ok? Todo esto hemos firmado aquí en chinga, con un poquito de tequila. O sea, no siento nada, estoy feliz de la vida ahorita con ustedes. ¿Qué es lo que quieres? ¿Qué es lo que quieres? ¿Qué es lo que quieres? Sure, vamos a hacer un castro, pero sería bueno para él traer algo de comida. Ok. Also, do they have any other questions that they want to answer? Sarah, they're asking for your email. Info at bootyfitworkout.com. Yes, info. Everything you can find, especially the Cheeky Sarah live group, bootyfitworkout.com. I made sure that was the easiest because my last name is hard. So I was like, let me make that website super easy. So bootyfitworkout.com. Yes, yes. I love that name, Booty Fit Workout. They're asking you, when are you coming back on YouTube? Who, me? Mm -hmm. You know what, you guys? <laughs> I gotta, you know, I don't know. Soon. Prontito. Prontito. Vamos a, prontito. Pronto bueno. va, vamos a, a, a hacer un video para, para mi canal de YouTube. La verdad, no, no he entrado en mucho tiempo. Pero a ver si hacemos un, una, un video de, de, no sé, una receta riquísima, algo ahí. A ver qué pasa. Are your recipes... Recipes considered clean keto or dirty keto? Wait, what did you say? The I thought you said hard. kinky keto. Oh. Oh. I was like, really? Maybe you. with the whipped cream. It is Leo season. <laughs> oh my God. I'm fired. <laughs> I love Johnny. Johnny's mm -hmm. here, guys. Yes. Um, it is considered clean keto, but most importantly, it is Cheeky's keto. So Cheeky keto. So Cheeky's keto. You get a little bit of, you know, little bit of the taste of the dirty keto, but not so dirty, because the dirtiest thing you'll have is bacon, but making sure it's nitrate free. Yes, it's important. El reto de los 21 días también se cuenta sábado y domingo, no solo lunes a viernes. 
Así es, mi sí. gente. La, este libro eh, son 21 días. O sea, completamente, completamente. Eso incluye el sábado y domingo porque son 21 días. O sea, si le van a echar ganas, hay que echarle ganas. Y si lo van a hacer, hay que hacerlo bien. Así que sí incluye esos 21 días, sábado y domingo, el fin de semana. Pero realmente están tan ricas las recetas que no van a extrañar cualquier cosa. Si están teniendo una carne asada, vas a saber qué es lo que puedes comer. A, o prepararte para cuando vayas a una carne asada, qué es lo que vas a comer tú estando en quieto. Así que no se preocupen. La verdad, yo quise, para nosotras, para nosotras fue muy importante eh, que ustedes no extrañaran nada. Por eso eh, hicimos estas recetas. And we have that section that. where you should say in ah. Spanish, the section mm -hmm. where it's like, you know, your staples, your Latin staples, mm -hmm. rice, beans, frijoles, oh, frijoles. tortillas, yeah, tortilla, there we go. Mm -hmm. So if you're craving rice, we have an option for you. If you're craving tortilla, we have an option for you. So we made it easy. So all those cravings that you feel like you're going to miss, mm -hmm. it's right there. It's in that chart. Exactly. Si sí, tenemos una sección aquí en el libro, este, donde... Hay un re, replanza, replaza, ¿cómo se dice? Remplaz, remplaz, ¿Cómo? Reemplazar. Reemplazar, reemplazamiento para, la, para los frijoles, para el arroz, para las tortillas. Este, aquí tenemos una página para que ustedes puedan hacer unas tortillas keto, eh, unos frijolitos, que es lo que pueden reemplazar el frijol. Así que tenemos esa sección aquí en el libro eh, para que ustedes este, no extrañen estas cosas que estamos acostumbrados todos a comer. Chiquis, how much weight have you lost on keto? On keto, I cannot tell you an exact number. I just know that I feel better. My Why clothes feel better. Why can't you tell me an exact number? I don't weigh myself. Yo no me peso. Right? Is that, okay, yeah. Right? Sarah, well, what? Sarah, oh my gosh. She was so mad when I weighed myself once. She said, I told you not to weigh yourself. You know, so I just don't weigh myself. I've seen pictures and I'm like, damn, I've lost weight. You know, I just don't have an exact number for you. Um, but I see the difference in my cheeks and um, in my waistline and on my arms, you know. So I see the difference in pictures. No me veo tan hinchada. So I can't necessarily tell you how much weight I've lost. But I do know people when we were doing um, our, our challenge, the Keto Challenge, 21 Keto Challenge with my team, there was four people. They all lost weight. They all lost different amounts of weight. But they lost weight in 21 days. So I just... I can't really tell you, to be honest. You should check out that YouTube with yeah. the results. Yes, check out the YouTube channel with the results, you guys, my, on my YouTube. Laura says, can you get high cholesterol from keto? Can you replace a meal for protein shake when you're always on the run? It's not always easy to make a meal. Um, mm -hmm. Exactly, and that's why we have it. We have a section just for you guys that are on the go, always on the go, like how to prepare things, especially the ala chiqui muffins. You prepare them overnight, you pop it into you know the microwave real quick, 30 seconds, and go right into your car. Mm -hmm. We have protein shakes in there, um, keto protein shakes in there that you could have. So if you're on the go and you don't have time to have that traditional breakfast, it is right there because we kept the chingonas who are consistently on the go in mind, and this is made for strictly those boss bees who are consistently on the go and have little to no time because you know they're working or taking care of the family. Mm -hmm. That's what these recipes are about. It's for things to prepare yourself because she always says a chingona always stays prepared. Absolutely. Super important. Be prepared, guys. Can you do an okur? Okur! Thank you. Just thought it was necessary. No. There you go. Which of both of you guys is your favorite recipe from the book? My favorite recipe from the book, if I had to choose one, oh, there's so many. Right now, at this moment, se me antojaron los huevos rancheros. I already just so salivated long. right now. Um, they made me go. Yeah, just right now. I just had it right now. <laughs> oh my god! There's something you made out of the book that I've tried that I really like. Um, I've tried a lot of stuff. You've tried a lot of stuff. Remember, I made a um, the casserole. The casserole. I don't know if he's tried my casserole though. I tried the cake. The cake she made the other night that was amazing. Was keto cake. cake. A keto cake. You yes. Love it. Um, he honestly, Johnny has tried a lot of my stuff. The zucchini boats. He tried he the zucchini boats. Yeah, he loved that's them. That's what I remember oh, you yeah, said. Right. That he was loved his favorite. Them. The zucchinis. That was his favorite. For me, oh, I shit. am a ceviche girl, and the ceviche tostada is delicious. And I do have a sweet tooth. Um, she knows I love yeah. the sweet tooth. So the arroz con leche, 
delicious, mm. especially because I'm Middle Eastern and we have a very, very similar dish. So to bring our two cultures together, it was so amazing to be able to do that. Cause she was telling me about arroz con leche and I was mm. like, oh my God, it's just so much like what we make. Reminds me and of my grandma. Exactly. And same with me. And we were like, let's, let's bring our cultures together and make a keto friendly version of that. And those are my two, two faves. Bomb. If we only have to pick two, cause all of them are my favorite. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> so bomb. Lulema says, yo no me he pesado desde que empecé ronda uno de la comunidad. Jaja, pero mi ropa ahorita ya no me queda para nada. Wow. Okay. She, she showed before and after yeah. pictures. We did see that. You sent it to us. Y muchísimas mm -hmm. gracias. Me da tanto gusto. Gracias por mandarnos la foto, mm -hmm. las fotos. Y, y pues sí, es, la verdad, lo más importante es que tú te sientas bien y que veas la diferencia en tu ropa. Así que no siento, yo no siento que es necesario pesarte. Yo no me peso. ¿Para qué? Mm -mm, I can't. Is chorizo on keto okay? Yes, oh, chorizo. Yeah. You can have chorizo. Soy chorizo, beef chorizo, pork chorizo, all kinds of chorizo is good for you. Chorizo breakfast ball. <laughs> chorizo right breakfast, here. breakfast, breakfast, breakfast ball. Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. I love how well structured, informative, and variations this book has, says Silvia. Oh, oh, Celia, beautiful. thank you so much. Feedback. That makes me so happy. We've gotten so much beautiful feedback. Amazing. Um, thank you. It makes us feel so good. Like, honestly, it makes my day to read your guys' comments oh, yeah. and DMs and stuff that you send us um, that you guys approve of the way we structured this book and the way we wrote it. So thank you so much. We talk every single day, like, throughout the day. And since the book release, the first thing that, like, we've been doing to each other is, like, you know sending your guys's like mm -hmm. comments and feedback and she'll send it to me i'll send it to her like because we read them and it's just like that's what makes our day and it's just so exciting to see it because it. two years in the work and then you're getting all this positive so much feedback. satisfaction you feel accomplished and you feel like yeah. wow the weight and 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 the work behind it is, is has been so worth it you know Dile a Oscar que grave. ¿Quién? Oscar que grave. Para que le dé su saludo. He wants to record it. Hi, Oscar. Mi Oscar, aquí va tu saludito. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Te mando un beso, un abrazo. Say hi, hi to Oscar. Miss Sarah. Hi, Oscar. Besitos. Mua. Me duelen las pompas. Está, sí, ya está bien dura. You're almost done. Como me duele un chingo la... Yeah. I got my book yesterday. I'm so excited to get on the board of the Chiquito train. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, nice. They're riding the Chiquito Any train. Any last questions? Yeah. Any last questions, you guys? Anything that you guys have in mind? We're almost done here with the live, you guys. Thank you for being here with us. Um, ya vamos aquí. Tenemos muchos firmados. Muchas gracias a la gente que está aquí ya ordenando su libro, que ha ordenado su libro. Thank you so, so much. I cannot thank you enough. Hi, John. Hi. There are no more questions? No. That's it. Okay, guys. Can we sign off? Yep. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your question. Muchísimas gracias. Aquí les dejamos de nuevo Chiquis Kiro, nuestro bebé, Sarah. Baby y su servidora, sí, chiquis. Tenemos versión en español y en inglés. Ya está a la venta en todos lados. Aquí está el link que les vamos a dejar a la gente que quiere ordenar el libro a través de este live. Le vamos a mandar nuestra firma en el libro. Así que, you guys, muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much, right, Sarah? Absolutely. Thank you to everybody who's been giving amazing feedback, who's already gotten the book, and who tuned in. And if you're just tuning in, we're about to log off, so we're, the link is going to be right here. And if you guys order straight from this link right here, you will get a signed copy. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. We put so much work, love, and effort into it, and a lot of booty into it. A lot. And <laughs> let us know if you guys get the book, leave a comment, and yeah. Yes, you guys, thank you so much. Les mandamos, les mandamos muchos besitos. Dios me los bendiga, y hasta luego. Until next time.